to this video everyone. Uh, today I just want to show you how I make my cooling panels for my um, A86 Truana. So this is one I originally made. It, uh, it's 2mm thick aluminium and then I carbon skinned it. It's the first time I had a go at carbon skinning. It doesn't get a very good polish, it's got a lot of light scratches in the surface. As I say, it's the first time I've, I've ever done it, I wanted to give it a go. So, I wanted to build another one. And the reason is, I've seen this, uh, this technique called um, metal spinning. Um, and it's where you use, or well, you could use multiple tools, but I'm going to be using Scotch pads. Uh, with this little adapter, this is just a universal kit I've just picked up from a local wiremongers. You've got different grade papers. Um, stick it in a drill and you just turn and overlap to make a really nice design. I think this used to be done on uh, dashboards back in the sort of 50s and 60s. But yeah, so I really want to give it a go. So I've gone and purchased some more aluminium. I've had it cut to rough size. I've used the existing one as a template. So I'm now going to use my circular saw and I'll cut this out. I'll use my Dremel to cut out the piece for the latch. So yeah, let's get into it. Okay, so unfortunately I don't have my Dremel on me. Um, that's at home, so that's not a problem. This bit can be cut out at a later, later time. So what I'm going to do now is I've just swapped over the cutting disc for the sanding disc. I'm just going to go around the outside and just curve off the edges, neaten them up, get rid of all the... Uh, the burrs and the sharp edges. So yeah, I'll do you like that. So okay, so that's it uh, cut out. I will go over it again um, once I've also cut this bit out. I'll take the plastic covering off as well because I do need to polish it before I start doing the turning. But uh, yeah, that's the basic shape. So yeah, next I'll, uh, I'll grab my Dremel and we'll cut out the centre piece here. Okay, so I managed to cut this out with the Dremel. And I'm just going to go around with a hand file just to neat up the edges. Okay guys, uh, fast forward a couple of days, unfortunately I didn't get to uh, finish this um, the same day that I started, but as you could probably see, I've finished cutting out the bonnet latch um, hole there, and also gave the, um, the brushing effect a go, and I'm really happy with the outcome to be fair. It didn't take long, it literally took 20 minutes on a pillar drill. Uh, well, as you can hopefully see, gives a really nice holographic effect. Really happy with the finish. So something a little bit different. So I set the pillar drill on a limit. So as you come down, it would stop at the same distance. So this would stop at the same pressure. Also, I counted two seconds. So as this came down and was spinning, I counted two seconds per um, per etch. So it's it's come out really even, which I was happy about because I have heard stories that the Scotch pad can wear quite quick from start to finish. So it gives a different effect. I'm very lucky that it lasted. Um, it's a really quick process also. So yeah, let's, uh, let's get it on the car and see how it looks. So there's a bit of a technique to getting these on, these cooling panels. So I'll show you how I do it. So we tilt it like this. 
lift the latch as, as much as I can and slide it up at that angle. And then I twist down. And it should hopefully pull. This hole up here and it's got an existing thread by the latch. Let's use a little raised washer and a countersunk screw. Just grab myself an Allen key. So yeah, it's very, uh, it's very quirky, very unusual, but uh, yeah, I really like it. So it's an easy thing to do. It's definitely a DIY job. So uh, why not give it a go? But once again, thanks for watching another one of my videos. I hope, uh, hope this gives you a bit of an idea of the sort of things I like to do and I hope to encourage you to give it a go as well. So yeah, what I'll do is I will do all the measurements and I'll put all the measurements in the description so you guys know what you need to cut out and uh, yeah, give it a go. See you in the next one.